everyone, it's me, Shaw360, and I am here with a haul video. My goal this week is to give a video like every day. Not every video that I'm going to give this week is going to be awesome, but I had a lot of stuff come in the last couple of weeks, and I wanted to tell you guys about it, and I didn't want to do like one huge video because I talk forever, so I thought I'd try to break it down in kind of bite-sized increments. So this is the first one. This is my Yes Asia haul. Um, as you guys know, Yes Asia does a semi-annual sale. They do a sale in the summer and a sale in the winter, and right now they're doing their winter sale. And these are all CDs that I picked up during the winter sale. Um, some of these were very inexpensive. Some of these were a little pricier than I usually pay, but I had my reasons for getting them anyway. Let's start with this one because this one is probably the most expensive thing I got. Well, not most. I think Teen Top was actually the most expensive. But this was at least second most expensive of what was on sale. Because I don't think the Teen Top was actually on sale. I think I just got it. But yeah, this is Got 7, Got Love, I think is what this one is called. And it looks weird. Like, the cover looks weird. But that's because there's a postcard sitting here. Yeah, there's a postcard right here that came with it. This is the postcard. It's really cute. I like it a lot. And the reason why I have it sitting on top is because I got a signed edition. Yeah, they have signed Got Love CDs on sale in the Yes Asia sale for less than $20. And if you get enough stuff, the shipping is free. So it's almost like getting the regular CD, but with the bonus of having a signature. So it's a really good deal. So I got this one, and I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know Got7 that well, so I really don't know whose signature this is. I have some ideas, but... I haven't really been able to confirm. I've been online looking at other signatures, but it's just so wild looking that I really can't tell. So I, I don't I don't know. But this was the alpha chip alphabet chip I got. I think that's Bam Bam. Is that who that is? And then it's got a T in the back. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a T in the back. And my camera's not gonna focus because it's in a little protective thing. But yeah, um, as for what I think about this CD in general, I think the packaging is really cute. Um, it's a mini album, so there's not a lot to it. But I mean, it's got a lot of cute pictures of the boys. They like they're having fun, so that's always nice. And then um, the songs, the ones that aren't A are okay. A is great. And then one of these remixes is like a a slow jam type of remix oh, so good so yeah I'm happy with this I, I'm happy for what I paid I think if I had paid that price and this wasn't a signed copy I wouldn't be as happy but because it is signed that kind of justifies me paying a little bit more because it really is kind of light on the song value but yeah it's really really cute I like it a lot and I tend to like JYP artists so I'm not surprised that I enjoy this Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is the man, JYP himself. This is, uh, it says spring on this side, but then on the other one, when you open it up, it says five songs for a new love. So I think it's called spring five songs for a new love. I don't know. I, I can't tell you. You know, the way that they decide to translate things, it makes no sense. But yeah, it's got five songs because it's five songs for a new love. And this is an older CD. This CD came out in 2012, but I got this, number one, because it was like $5. But two, there are two songs in here that I absolutely love. The first song that's on here that I love is You're the Only One. It's number three on here. It's so, so good. The video is adorable. He wears these, like, hot pink knee socks. There's a picture of him in the photo book wearing them. And he has like the most adorable like windmill leg dance. It's so cute. I just love that video so much. And then there's a song on here with him and Guyan from Brown Eyed Girl um, called Someone Else. And that video and that song are so hot. I just love it to pieces, bits and bits and pieces. So yeah, I was really glad to get this for the price. It averaged like a dollar a song. And yeah, it just, I really, really like this. The other songs are okay. The, it's obvious why he chose those two as the single, but you know, it's still good. The packaging on this is ultra cheap. I'm glad I got it for $5 because I think if I had paid any more, I would have been really upset because, I mean, look at the print on this. Doesn't that just look like the cheapest print ever? Like, it's just not, it's not very classy to me, or just very plain. I shouldn't say not classy. It's just very plain. And then here's the picture of him in the pink knee socks, which, dude... Because it's JYP, I get it. But if it was anybody else, I'd be like, what the hell are you wearing? But yeah, that's that one. Next, still continuing on with JYP Entertainment, I have this CD, which is 
Bake Aeon a Good Girl, this CD, okay, first of all, the music on here is super duper cute. She's a really great singer. I really love it a lot. But that's not the main thing I want to talk about. The main thing I want to talk about with this CD is how fucking cute it is. This has got to be the cutest CD I've ever owned. Bar none. It's like five bucks, so it's not very expensive, but it is filled to the gills with the cuteness. Okay, so you see all the cute little, like, sticker things. Okay, this whole thing was designed by Pony Brown, which is one of my favorite sticker companies in Korea. They do really cute stickers. Then all over the sides, you have all this cute stuff here. Just adorable, adorable, adorable. Cute, cute, cute. Cute, cute, cute. You turn it over. Cute, 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 cute. It's so good, guys. So we're going to open it up. And look, it's a little mirror. It says, good girl. And it's got all the little compact stuff. And then it got... It has this it got it has this little sticker for Pony Brown, which is adorable and I love it and it's so so cute. Then because it has the mirror, it looks like a little compact. So that's adorable. And then I'm gonna tip these out real quick. Behind here is the CD. The CD looks like a little mirror again, so that's pretty awesome. But then she has all these postcards. Instead of having like a photo book, it's postcards. And in the back, it's got like all the lyrics and credit sheets. And it's handwritten. And I find handwritten to be just the best. There's something about seeing someone's handwriting that really makes it feel more personal. And I always enjoy handwritten letters, so I love that little bit of something right there and then it's got like the bubble letters but then the pictures of her on this are adorable as well look at her isn't that the cutest thing and like her songs are really good if i had to describe the music of the cd it's like coffee shop music it's very breezy and light and springtime and full of softness but like fun and it's airy and just really adorable i don't know if She's still on JYP. I don't know what's going on with her career. I really didn't do any research on her. I actually happened to get this because I just thought it was cute. And also because when I looked up the song, I saw a video for the song. And I thought the song was really cute for five bucks. I'm like, why not? And I am not displeased. This really is so, so adorable. So, yeah. That's that one. Um, and now let's get to the last two. I've already talked about this really briefly when I talked about my 2014 favorites. This was not a favorite. This was a not-so-favorite. This is the Teen Top Exodo. I'll be honest with you. I don't know a lot about Teen Top, but this didn't do it for me. And I'm not saying that I'll never buy a Teen Top again. I feel like I won't. I just feel like they're not for me. But I do appreciate the direction that they're going in. Because the two singles that they released were very good. Young Neil has a nice voice. I just don't think that their style is a style that I particularly like. There are some groups that no matter what they release, I just don't think I'm ever going to get into them. Like, I think Boyfriend is adorable. And they've had a couple of songs that I thought were okay. But I don't see myself ever buying a Boyfriend album. Which sucks because I really like Starship as a company. Because K. Will's on Starship. Sistar's on Starship. Um... Ju Young, who did the song with Hyorin, Erase, which is an amazing song. If you haven't heard it already, you need to go listen to it. He's on there. So Starship is a good company. I just don't tend to like Boyfriend. Same thing with Teen Top. I'm certain that their company is a good company, and I know that they have a lane that they feel where their fans love everything they do. They're just not for me. And because they're not for me, I can't say that this was a favorite release of mine. And looking through the photo book, I wasn't all fangirly about it because I don't really know them like that. Like, I can identify them, but I just, I don't know them like that. So this didn't really do anything for me. And the fact that it was in this booklet form really pissed me off. Like, I just, I'm still angry about that. Even now, thinking about it, just, I could go off for another five minutes, but I'm not going to because I've already done that, but... This is one of those ones that I just don't see myself keeping for very long. I'm probably going to burn the two songs that I like from here. And more than likely, um, I'll end up selling this or giving this away at some point. Because I, I just, I'm not fond of it. And the photo card that I got was the Neil photo card. So there's the front of that one. And then the back, there's no signature or anything on it. It's just, it's pretty plain. But yeah, there's that one. And then the last CD I got was this group here called Miss S. Well, it says Miss Us is the name of the album, but the group is Miss S. 
They are on a record label that I personally stand for called Brand New Music. Brand New Music is my favorite independent record label right now. Like, they just do all the right things. They're having a little bit of trouble right now because Bumkey, who is one of their major artists, he has been on trial recently for selling and distributing drugs. Um, and it's pretty serious right now. Like, it's looking like if he gets convicted, he's going to be serving some major time. And it will definitely probably be the end of his K-pop career, which I'm concerned about that. Um, I'll tell you why I'm concerned. From what I understand, and this is this is me kind of piecing different pieces of information together. It doesn't mean anything. It's not an accusation. But um, do you guys remember when everybody was doing the ALS ice water challenge? During that challenge, uh, Key from Shiny did the challenge, and one of the people that he challenged was Bum Key, I believe. And I think, I'm not sure if it's the same one, but it seemed like it was. And I know that he is a really popular artist. He did the Fuck You song with Guy In, which I love that song. That's one of my, that was another one of my favorite songs of the year. I just didn't put it on my list. But he has a lot of connections in show business is what I'm trying to say and I feel like if it came down to it and it looked like they were going to convict him that he would try to work out a plea bargain and I wonder if he really was dealing the drugs and I'm not saying he did but if he really was dealing the drugs I wonder if he's going to implicate some really famous people because like I said he's got a lot of industry connections so that was a side story has nothing to do with these girls they're just on the same record label that's all it is but yeah, this is a very interesting mini album. It doesn't have a lot to it. Um, I'm showing you the track list right now. And as you can see, there's just really not a lot going on with it. There is an instrumental. There's a bonus track. And there's really only about five actual intended songs. So there's not a bunch to it. But I really like this group. Um, they have a certain feel to them. They're like a more serious version of To Anyone. Like, there's a lot of rap going on. And, like, I think two of the three girls are rappers. And then one is, like, really good, a great, great singer. And so they have, like, kind of, I wouldn't say street, but, like, round the way girl. Like, home girl. That's what I'm thinking of. They're, like, home girls. You know, they're really kind of sporty, but also kind of sexy. And they sing music with kind of a little bit of an edge. They do a little bit of rapping. And it's not something that I think is for everybody. But if you're into that kind of thing, just check out their YouTube videos. It's Miss Us. It's Miss S. M-I-S space S. And just check out their music. See what you think. If you like it, go ahead and get the CD. It's like five bucks, which is super, super cheap. So... You don't really have anything to lose on that. Or if you're doing the Yes Asia sale and you're getting some things and need like five more dollars to qualify for the free shipping, go ahead and give it a check. But yeah, that was everything in my Yes Asia haul. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you on the other side of it. Continue to pray for our idols. Things are getting murky. You know, bum key in a legal situation. Who knows? Who knows? All right then. Talk to you later. Bye.